All right, now we're gonna see what's so magic about Magic Air. Let's see what's going on over here. Man on the street interview, Tom. All right. <laughs> How you doing? What's up, man? Good to see you. you. Can we bug you? Absolutely. Ron, good to see you again. You too, Tony. Well, you got a great setup here, and this is day two of the road show. So I'd love for you to give us a walk around so we can just do sure. a little conversation here. Gina's gonna record us, and then I'll come back and get some close-ups of all the stuff we're talking about. Great. So I know Magic Air from back in the old days where it was just like a fan coil or a blower coil. Yes. It's changed a little bit, I think. We have grown quite a bit once we spun off of a big corporation and became in independently owned. We put a big focus on new product development beginning in 2010. Yeah. And most of what I'm showing here is product that has been developed since then as we try to get a better mousetrap, uh, better solutions. Um, so right behind That's us, good. we have a, uh, a unit ventilator. The That's, classic unit ventilator. Yes. Now popular this, in school applications. Yes. Uh, this is a sill height unit ventilator underneath, uh, installed underneath a window sill. A sill yeah. height. Window Got sill it. height. Yeah. Uh, so there's a louver on the outside of the building that brings in fresh air into the classroom. ASHRAE 62 requires yep. a certain amount of fresh air for schools, classrooms, and unit ventilator is a great way to do that. Yeah. So uh, a lot of our products are uh, fed by a boiler or a chiller, mm -hmm. or we're moving now towards installing LG VRF controls in the unit ventilator. Really? So we, we did about a, a significant number on Long Island the last two years, uh -huh. and now that they're, they're completely factory installed. Uh, this product, however, is compressorized, so it's got a Dan Foss variable speed compressor driven by right. a VFD, uh, hot gas reheat for dehumidification, so it really controls the temperature and the humidity. And So wait the, a second, this is like a packaged DX unit? Yes, it is. And how does the condenser heat get rejected? There's a, on the other side out, outside out the, the wall? Yes, so just like you it's bring like a giant PTAC. Yes, just Except like you. Except uh, it's quality. Yes. Nothing well, against PTAC people, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> So the unit ventilator always brings in outside air. The self-contained air-cooled version also discharges a condenser air and brings in condenser air. So nice. that's just a larger opening. Um, and this that way it gives you the hot gas reheat. Sorry, I'm keep interrupting you. I apologize. No, that's right? fine. But it gives you. The, I'm so excited about it because it, you know it, being in the South, heart low conditions in classrooms is a classic huge yes. problem. And you know multi-speed compressors is good. You know variable speed fans are good, but you can't be hot gas reheat for dehumidification. A lot of people find that in the cooling mode, they can set their uh, temperature set point a little bit higher right. if you're dehumidifying and people are still comfortable. You're saving a lot of energy. The hot gas reheat coil, from the compressor's perspective, is just another condenser, so it's super efficient. That's right. But the other thing you'll see commonly is that there's more and more conservative practice and safety factors being built in so that DX equipment is frequently oversized. And if you have a standard single speed compressor in a unit that's a little bit oversized, and oversized because they have to size it for the worst case. That's there right. may be 50 kids in that classroom someday. Well, yeah, the first 10 years, there's 20 kids in there. So mm. a, a single speed compressor is going to short cycle. Right. You won't dehumidify very well. All that stopping and starting is really hard on all the yep. components. But a variable speed compressor, say you have a five ton unit, it just runs at two tons. I love it. Super efficient, yep. super quiet, as low as NC35 sound levels. So unit ventilators are a big part of our Great business. Solution. It's very important to us. To me, you mentioned oversize. I just want to touch on that. If you're new in the, in the industry and you're watching this, that's a very bad thing. Like yes. it's extremely bad, especially in the South. The perfect unit to me has trouble keeping up on the hottest days. Well, that's the people, perfectly sized unit. A lot to me. of people assume more is better. It's like that's if, right. if you oversize a unit, um, it, not you, good. you will not be comfortable and the unit reliability will be impacted. That's right. If you have variable speed, whether it's compressors or motors, you gain, you, you meet the need of the client with the speed that's actually needed. That's right. Um, that, that's why we have variable speed motors in our air handlers now, too. Okay. This is a little direct drive. HCA model air handling unit, nice four inch filter slot. After COVID, a lot of us were being pushed to have better filtration. So this is MERV 13, mm -hmm. um, up to 10 rows of coil and a variable speed blower motor. And I don't know, the guys, you can't see this on camera, but this is a quality unit. It is it's well really, built. It's yes. really well built, uh, really nice. So The blower can be controlled by a zero to 10 volt signal from the building automation That's system. That's an EC motor, it looks yes. like. And this, now this is a prototype unit. This is a okay. VRF package from LG. 
So wow. we've, we've been doing this for unit ventilators. Okay. And as, I, as my sign says, we will be doing it. Coming soon, we'll have this in our air handling units. Coming soon. Yes. So Breaking um, story. we got a breaking story it here. It is a breaking story. We're excited <laughs> about this. So That's awesome. Uh, the larger units will use a plenum fan. Let me squeeze in here. Yeah, sure. So we're using more and more of these Look plenum fans to get the static that you need for an air handling unit and still get variable speed. And, and now, for, those, for those who don't know, they spin this way. Yes. They spin this way. Not this way as you would think they spin. It could be so. a good cheese grater the other direction. But, <laughs> yeah, I just grated my hand. I just got my finger caught <laughs> Or a hand, hand grater. <laughs> and this so, has got the EC motor. Yes. Which is a built-in variable speed, very high efficient motor. Yes. So, so you yeah. can actually buy this with a potentiometer so that for testing and balancing, I the guy just sets I love it, it, which is great. But even better is to drive it with a system from the building automation system so you get only as much as you need. Right. Energy, and if you have a belt drive fan or need to change the speed, you're talking about a lot of work. I, I've calculated shivs before ah. and it was a nightmare. Well, you're, you're right. It. It's I a lot it. of work. So, so anyway, that's, this, that's just me. But. That's a horizontal version. Okay. We can also do a factory valve package. Factory valve um, package, we, got it. We pay our people well, but they don't make what a contractor does. So anything that you can have the factory do is going to be better for the end user in terms of total cost. And um, you've got one throat to choke. If, one throat to choke. One throat to that's choke. Right. If, if we provide more things for you, we're the guy that's responsible to do it the right I've way. I've never heard that term in I, all these I years in the business. I learned it from a really big corporation I used to work for, <laughs> and it does not bring back fond memories. Yeah. So I like being a small business owner. I don't want to hear it when a boss says it to me. Yes, That's absolutely. for sure. So um, this is the vertical version of this. Wow, nice. So uh, yep. nice double wall construction. We had the option on both of these air handlers of a, for the liner to be an antimicrobial coating. Okay. This blower slides out for easily replacement. There's two bolts it. that hold it in place. Yeah. So all you do is unplug this harness and the whole thing pulls out, set it on the ground. You can clean the blower or replace the motor. And I see you have an option for a plenum fan. Yes, the which larger is great size. If you is, got a higher static and yes. sounds an issue. So at 800 CFM, this blower type will give you a good inch or one and a half inch of external static, even with two Still coils good. and a yeah. filter. But on the larger sizes, you'll need a plenum fan. I know for me, when I was a rep, I would use this product a lot when, you know, you had smaller units and the modular climate changers is too much or some sort of modular type unit. I'm using yeah. that as a term, but like, you know what I'm saying? These are just fit well in those types of applications. It's a very small footprint. Uh, right. One of our larger competitors uh, has a, well, this footprint is about 30% smaller. Mm -hmm. All the services from the front, so you can put them side by side. One of my uh, a school district that bought a Love lot it. of these would typically on their new construction have a mechanical room between two classrooms mm -hmm. that have two of these in the mechanical room. Love but it. it was a small mechanical room. That's what the engineers like. The smaller, the better. And um, and yet it met their needs well. Yeah. This is a more traditional offering, the traditional horizontal fan coil usually installed up above the ceiling. So I think most people when they hear magic air, they're thinking of yes, this. Uh, this is yeah. the floor console. We also have been known for years for making a, a small belt drive air handler up to 8,000 CFM. Yeah. We still make those, still have a typical lead time of four weeks. We have a quick build program where we can build air handlers in 10 days or five days. Mm -hmm. We've built air handlers before the big corporation could cut their PO, but my accounting department really didn't like that. <laughs> so this last unit- I know that feeling. Is a uh, critical environment air handling unit for uh, typically a hospital or a medical application, maybe pharmaceutical. Right. We, we start with a two-stage pre-filter, up to 12 rows of coil, and then a plenum fan, a Zeal Abeg plenum fan, actually assembled not far from here, here in mm -hmm. North Carolina. And then a final filter is either MERV 14 or HEPA. So it Got takes it. a lot of air power to push through all that. In fact, this huge monster is 400 CFM nominal, just like this little one over here. Right. And you got all this, this stuff this in it. fan coil is yeah. about 400 CFM, but you're right. doing really different things. Uh, this is two inch double wall construction. So that's most of the Magic Gear products. We're excited about a, a lot of the products that, that we sold were matched with, with hydronic systems for years. And now mm -hmm. we're moving more and more towards uh, some VRF. There's a lot of work involved with the VRF manufacturer to make that happen. Yeah. So we've limited our work so far to LG. 
been really pleased with a lot what our customers are doing. Uh, a lot of our reps, uh, especially in your group of companies, are mm -hmm. both LG and Magic Air reps, so it works out great for us. That's awesome. Well, Ron, thanks for attending the Roadshow, and thanks Appreciate for this it. rundown. Thank Impressive you. Impressive stuff. Thank you. Great job. Appreciate it.